Hello and welcome back guys to a brand new video So this video is going to be a tutorial I've been busy in the last days and probably I'm going to be one more month <laughs> So I won't have that much time to make videos and that's why I choose to make tutorials Because they are fast to make Better than not uploading, right? So in today's video we're going to see how we can animate a character using a sprite sheet like this From the idle animation to the running And by the end of this tutorial you can make other animations at your own such as uh, jumping or punching so let's jump ahead to unity so this is sprite sheet i'm using you can use any sprite you have so let me just make a fast background so it has more appealing look here we go then we're going to start working on the player so select the sprite sheet you have and make sure to set it up to multiple then click sprite editor and now we can start selecting every movement frame separately just like this Then we make sure to press apply Here we can drag the first frame we made to be as our character So let me drag it And scale it up to match the level Here in the bottom click on animation Then create Make sure you have selected the player before doing that And let's call it add animation Let's drag the project up so we can see both panels in front of us Then we drag all the idle frames that we have selected And play around with it until you find the right speed for your animation let's test this out and see how it will display and as you can see the player have an idle animation and it's looking good so now i'm going to add a running animation to the players so for that i'm going to make a new c sharp script and name it to player movement and wait for fuzzy studio to load and that's because i don't have a movement script yet so i'm going to set it up real fast i'm going to skip this part because it's not uh, what the today's tutorial about now if I press play the player can move and only the animation is missing and that's what we're doing now So we go back to the sprite sheet and do the same thing we select all the running frames and drag the project up again And under the idle animation name we can select create a new animation and let's name it to running animation And we do the same thing as earlier and play around with the speed Then we go to the animator there we can see all the animation we made we make a transition between the idle and the running animation we need to control it so we make a boolean variable and name it to run and we add a condition true for going from the idle to the run and false for the inverse and we make sure to uncheck the has exit time from both transitions so the next thing we need is to control all the boolean values throughout script so we go back there and in update function we're going to make an input condition so if input dot get key down code dot a so if the player hold down a we're going to make a, a new public animator and we name it animator so animator dot set here there is a misspell there you go dot set bool run as we name it and value is equal to true and now if input dot get key up key code dot a so if the player release a button we want the animation to back to idle so animator.setBool run and false so we go back to unity and drag the player in the inspector here because he is the animator and if we test this out as you can now see the player have running animation we did only one side here so only left side will work as soon as we press the A button the value change to true so the player changed the animation and as we release it he go back to idle animation and to make it even smoother and more responsive we go back to the animator and remove transition time here and set it up to zero and now the player have a faster response time and smoother transition well that's it for today's video guys i hope it was helpful now you can make other animation yourself using the same steps before this video ends make sure to join our discord server there will be a link in the description thank you for watching and peace out.